going to take you through the entire process of starting from discovery, finding exactly which type of processes that you would want to automate and how you can automate them all the way to actually executing the Pluprism digital workers whenever they are needed. So it's going to be really exciting. And we're going to start off with process discovery, which will show you exactly what our combination of task mining and process mining can do together to really deliver process understanding. So the first thing that we're going to look at is actually which automation candidates that Timeline has been able to suggest based on all of the recordings across different users, different departments, and different applications that it's been seeing. So what you see here is a nice distribution of which tasks can actually be automated, which complexity they have, and how much you're able to gain. With this suggestions of automation candidates, we can actually show you exactly how much time that you're going to save and also what that means in terms of value or money that you'll be able to save as well. But we want to go beyond that. With Timeline and also, of course, working together with Blue Prism, we'll be able to say, well, we want to know specifically for the expense report task what that means and what that looks like. So that's why with all of the tools that we already had from process mining, we can actually go in deep and say, well, I now want to see the exact process that is happening to execute this task. Now we're going to focus specifically on this one task. So that's why we can say, well, I want timeline to tell me what the best possible way is the automatic analysis for this particular process that we want to automate, which is the automatic expensing of these reports. Now this is a suggestion from timeline and it's allowing us to see all of the different most common steps that we need to do to get from A to B and actually fully automate this process. You see there's a couple of branches and exceptions that we can take into account as well. Now, what is really interesting is that we can mix this in, this particular task, into the overall process that we might want to be looking at. So with Timeline, we still have all of those capabilities and we can zoom in and out into all of the other bits and pieces that actually we've found about the process with the actual process mining part of Timeline. So if you look at the bigger scheme of things, it could be that there's this particular step that's happening here, which is that you want to do this expense report or that there is a card offer. So you can really zoom in and out on the actual process. In addition, you still have all of the great tools available from Timeline to really identify within a task or to look at a task from the helicopter view and see how it plays into the overall process as well. And what is really key is that we can use this information to actually start the process automation journey. 